A pleasant morning to everyone and welcome to the series of talks under the Advocacies on Conservation and Awareness Program. First of all, I would like to congratulate the organizations who spearhead this activity, the Veterinary Circle for 10 and the Northern Exotic Wildlife Troopers. Indeed, it is commendable that despite the pandemic, despite the many concerns and the challenges that we have to deal with in this time, this group of people or these organizations have thought of conducting a worthwhile activity for the wildlife conservation and awareness. Well, we are very much aware that uh, there are only few people who have put their heart and mind on uh, this aspect of uh, uh, taking care of our nature, no? the wildlife. And um, there are so many challenges indeed when it, we talk about uh, wildlife conservation. On the part of the government, it, it is quite imminent that we do not have uh, enough financial and logistical support to implement the programs related to wildlife conservation and awareness. And uh, every now and then we hear reports of, let's say, poaching of well, the wild animals. Uh, these are they, they, they just proliferate and they become very rampant. And uh, the sad thing is, it's not even the local, the locals who are doing this, but uh, foreign nationals who come here and uh, rob us of our wildlife, uh, uh, of our wildlife resources. So that is one problem. It is an indication that even our law enforcement uh, programs is not efficient because of these uh, situations. But more than that, I think one of the problems also or challenges is the lack of information on the wildlife resources that we have and uh, the lack of awareness of people on the values of wildlife so actually for me personally when I think of wildlife what comes into my mind is nature sweet nature because the wild the wild animals wild plants when then when they are in their natural environment they are very happy because uh, they live in their natural habitat and they can enjoy they can do whatever they want without restrictions and uh, given that if that is the main problem is the lack of awareness we need to raise that level of awareness and I think um, the government has to invest on environmental education and that's why what you are doing right now is contributory to this um, to addressing the problem so what is also uh, what is also good in this activity is it is the young generations who are involved in uh, advocating wildlife conservation and awareness and when we do that the generations to come are quite assured of having the the the, the kind of nature that they would enjoy in the future no, for the next generation so with this i would like to congratulate the group and i would like to congratulate also the participants because you are uh, you're already uh, one step uh, ahead on uh, on the advocacy of conservation and awareness so let's not become wild let us be tamed in uh, taking care of the wild. Again, happy day and good luck to everyone.